Hello everybody, my name is Fadi Charbel. I'm the professor and the head of neurosurgery at the University of Illinois in Chicago. So I'm a neurosurgeon, but I'm also very interested in stroke and neurovascular diseases, and we have a, a large team with a long-standing history of clinical and research interests in this field. Well, uh, I think this is a, uh, a topic worth considering. We've made uh, incredible advances in the area of hemorrhagic stroke, aneurysms, AVMs, and those diseases are treated well. And then recently, of course, the big advance has been in acute stroke with thrombectomy, which is now established as a beneficial treatment, saving a lot of lives. So what is left? Well, what's left is a big, actually, a portion of patients that have a stroke. And these are the subacute and chronic ischemic strokes. They're not hemorrhages. Uh, they're not acute to come to the ER. So these are the stenosis, the intracranial atherosclerotic disease, the carotid disease that may be asymptomatic or symptomatic, and what do we do for those? And the management, I think, of this big, big chunk of the population that has a stroke or a trisco stroke is going to be our challenge for the next few years. Now, how do we deal with that? I think first and foremost, we have to identify the risk factors. In other words, we need to one, find out which patients need to be treated. That is key. And in parallel, if we identify a high risk subgroup, what is the device that needs to be developed to treat them? And lastly, how do we put the two together? Which environment? And if I were to look in the tea leaves and, uh, and, and maybe guess, and this is a great place to guess, right? The link meeting is where all the advances and phenomenal venue. I think it's going to be probably in a hybrid MR-based environment where we can image the brain anatomically, physiologically, and at the same time gauge the results of an intervention. So you can see, for example, that if one were to develop tools that work in that environment, MR-based catheters, MR-compatible devices, things like that, where we can immediately assess the efficacy of our treatment or the side effects of the treatment, I think that would be a very exciting future to consider. And, uh, and I think this is where we should be going, and we probably will be going.